Right, this is the first of, I would say, several more videos on the Phoenician origins of the Turkic Khazars, of the Turkic Khaganate. Now, one thing that links the whole thing up perfectly is the fact that the Phoenicians had a ruler called, or, or their ruler was called the Kagan, spelt Q-A-G-A-N. And, of course, they moved round to Turkey and had the Turkey, Turkic Kaganate, spelt K-H-A-G-A-N-A-T-E. Right? It's the same word, Kagan and Kagan, right? Just one spelt with a Q and one spelt with a K-H. Also, the, this is Phoenician history in the jewishvirtuallibrary.org, right? From the days of Hiram the Great, 969 to 936 BCE, so a thousand years before Christ, Hiram the Great, Hiram Abif, right? So again, that's the uh, Temple of Solomon legend um, of Hiram Abif, right? Which the, which the, you know, the Order of Solomon Freemasonry uses today, right? It's Phoenician, and it dates back 3,000 years. And there's more, right? So you see, see that at the top on the top left there? Jewish virtual library, because that, this is their history. That Order of, sorry, Seal of Solomon there, right? Look, on the right there, Khazars, King David on the right. But look. The Greek name Phoenike, Phoenix, is first mentioned by Homer, right? Phoenicians, yeah, up here, Phoenicians is Phoenix. Hence, the Freemasons, the, the Order of Solomon, uh, what can I say there? They love the Phoenix, don't they? You saw that at the occult uh, London Olympics ceremony, a massive phoenix, because it's Phoenicia. Phoenix comes from Phoenike, phoenix, right? That's why Harry Potter, um, Order of the Phoenix, and there's a phoenix in it, there's a phoenix bird, of course. Yeah, that's interesting. Some scholars derive the Greek name from phoenix, crimson purple, so that Phoenike is the land of purple. See Canaan. Interesting. Now we really get into this, this purple elephants of the of the Rothschilds, the uh, Ganesh. Purple and purple being a mix of blue and red, which is of course the Isis and Ra, of uh, Jewish Freemasonry. Uh, bum, 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 what else? There's got to be so much here. Canaan, Cain, Cain and Abel. Again, it's it's Phoenician, right? Yeah, in a Jewish virtual library up there, you see, top left. All right, so let's carry on. There's more. Of course, there's always more. Um, right. Deserta has been right on this all the way through, and I have to thank her for this. Um, yeah, I came across this one. This was on top of Tower Bridge recently, right? It's Phoenician. And there's a Phoenician raised hand as well. Got to look out for that one. Um, and it mentions the Gaelic conquest of Ireland. You see Ireland again comes up. Um, now, take a look at that, right? The Red Cross. It's Phoenician. Look, it's right there. In the Union Jack. The Union Black Jack. Yeah, see there it is. It's the principal identifier of Great Britain. They call it the Red Cross of Saint George, but uh, that'll it's Phoenician. Right, there you go, Phoenician, right there, right in front of you, right there, first word, Phoenician. So. You know, the Phoenicians were seafaring merchants, and I, their whole, the Jewish 
people who call themselves Jewish and who have their current headquarters in, in Palestine, sitting on Palestine, having ethnically cleansed all the Palestinians over the last 70 years, they were the seafaring merchants, right? Here's the Jewish guy playing the merchant of Venice, getting his pound of flesh. This explains, this Phoenician merchant thing, explains the fact that they own all the companies. All right, it's through, you know, their uni unity, their their mafia, etc., especially the mafia over the last 300 years, Freemasonry, the Order of Solomon. It's through that, that f great facilitator for them that they are able to, you know, own virtually everything across the Western world, especially the companies. They're the merchants, right? Merchant Ivory Productions. Stephen Merchant. Like I say, it's always in their names. Their, their origins are in their names. The Hebrew beard and glasses. And then there's Merchant Taylor's School. I think there's one in... Um, uh, where is it? Up in Liverpool as well. But um, you see, it's Merchant and Taylor's. Now the Taylor's course are, are the hab, haberdashers right tailoring industry they've owned that for the last couple of hundred years minimum right haberdashers well i'll get to that haberdashers asks so they are the merchants and the tailors and this uh school has a lodge that um in i think st james london right the Sir Thomas White Lodge. Okay. Let's move on. I mentioned Haberdashers Asks. Because Haberdashers is, is the uh, haberdashery industry, the tailoring industry, merchant tailors, right? And of course they have a lodge. They're, they're, very, they're completely Jewish school, that one, as far as I know. Um, here's their serve and obey, very Masonic goat. Of Mendes, you know, Baphomet. Looks like a fascist laurel wreath there. God knows what else. The colours of Israel. Isis. Um, bom, bom, bom. Yeah, Masonic frontage there, which you always see in every town. So there's Haberdashers Asks School, right? And Yes, the Zionist Sasha Baron Cohen um, went there. That was his school with his red mane here. And this guy, supposed to be a really funny guy or whatever, somebody went up to him um, with a Jewish joke. Oh, my God, he had no sense of humor whatsoever. He just walked away. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a rabid Zionist, this guy. So, okay, I'll... Um, I'll cut that one pretty much there, um, except for Baal. Baal is, this is a, another Phoenicia.org, pagan HTML, right? The pagan, uh, well, of course, this is what the Hebrew Kabbalah is. It goes back to Phoenician paganism. Baal, look, the Hebrew word Baal, which is Beelzebub as well, that's another Hebrew word, right? It mentions Israel, etc. But Baal is Phoenician again. Then you've got Astarte, Anath, Adonis, Melkart. Mm, that's a curious one. Tanit. I wonder if it's Tenit. Tenit, Tanit. We've got Baal, Haman, chief god of Carthage. Baal. Punic Stellae. Symbols. There's a lot for me to go through on this, and this is just the, you know, just the st Herodotus. Phoenicians take Egyptian cults to Greece. You see, the Phoenicians, they are the Phoenicians, and they took their cult, the pagan cult, Egyptian pagan cult, and it meant they mentioned Set and Egypt's pagan stuff, and they took it to Greece. Well, they also took it to Turkey, didn't they? 
And that's why, you know, you see a lot of people saying, yeah, they're the Turkic Khazars, they are. But they're also the Phoenicians in the first place. Let's go up the top here. Phoenician Canaanite religion, pagan. That's the religion. Yeah. Baal. Shalim, very, very Jewish sounding. Kothar. Yeah. Faith system and goddesses. Aphrodite is Ashtate. Yeah, of course. Persians. Hmm. Okay. Baal. Queen of Heaven. Isis, of course. So, yeah. Phoenicians. And before that, Neanderthal. Chris Neanderthal, of course. It's all in the surnames. Um, but there you go. It explains the... Um, it's, been, it, it, it's, it's Phoenicia, yeah, it's definitely Phoenicia. It's um, the Kaganate again, Kagan. All those Jewish people called Kagan and Beck. Really, yeah, you say it stems from Turkey, but really it stems from Phoenicia. And that, that goes back thousands more years. The, the Khazar Turks were really from the Dark Ages after Christ through to the 1300s when they when their Khazaria empire was finally eroded but of course by that time they were in all the major um, business places of the western world as merchants yeah. and money lenders which led to the ownership of the banks and once they had the control of the money, the banks, well, here we are today, eh? What a pretty pickle we're in, thanks to them.